Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2017. Brought to you by Informatica. Welcome to exclusive CUBE coverage here in San Francisco for our exclusive coverage of Informatica World 2017. It's May Madness, a lot of events happening here on the ground, live. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. My co-host, Peter Burris. Our next guest is Kim Salem Jack, who's the SVP of Field Marketing and Business Development for Informatica World. She runs the show, literally, for <laughs> Informatica World. Welcome to theCUBE kickoff for Informatica World. Thank you, I'm thrilled to be here. So give us the quick highlights. What is the show sure. about this year? I mean, obviously data is at the center of the value proposition. Right. Data is the new oil, data is the new gold, it's the new resource. Right. What's, what's some of the stats, what's happening? Sure, so this is our 18th annual Informatica World and as you know, John, we are 100% focused on everything data. So whether you want to talk about the mainframe, IOT, or everything in between, we have it covered at the conference. And what's some of the themes here? So the disruptive power of data is really a key theme for us, and it's all about digital transformation and intelligent disruption. What's different from last year? Because obviously the, the value proposition is getting bigger and bigger. We're hearing more about AI, machine learning. Yeah. Real value proposition is in the software. Right, I mean, I think our innovations are just unbelievable. Just this morning, about 20 minutes ago, um, Ahmed debuted Claire, which is our basically AI for data management um, new, uh, new release. And what I think is brilliant with the name is Claire is about clairvoyance and it has AI in the heart of it. So super exciting innovations for our clients. For the folks watching, what's the, the vibe here? Um, how many attendees are here? What are some of the, the highlights? What's the experience like? Sure, well there's massive energy. So yesterday was our industry perspectives days and it's when we were talking about the hottest topics. So cloud, MDM, big data. We were sold out. It was our pre-conference day. So we have over 3,000 attendees here today. And what's nice is we have um, from practitioners to data scientists to executives. So unbelievable lineup of different folks all focused on data. This is our second year covering uh, you guys live, uh, you know, multi-day, you know, deep dive and conversations. Last year it was very clear data was going to be a, a disruptive force. Now you're seeing real developer action in the enterprise, real transformation with data. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the highlights that are going on in your world, like customer successes, where, where's the action in terms of the, the true business transformation? Yeah, I mean, people are using data to innovate in ways we never thought possible from superior customer experience to disrupting their business. We're talking a lot about data disruption here and, and data disruption in a positive way because um, really intelligence, uh, disruption, I think if you don't drive it, it drives you. And so it's all about using intelligence of the data to innovate like we never have before. So Kim, what's the, uh, Informatica is going through some consequential changes reflecting what's happening in the marketplace. So are your customers, a lot to learn. As you think about designing this program, mm -hmm. what do you think the role of conferences are going to be for customers as they try to track some of these changes in the future? Yeah, I mean, what we try to do is marry the, the digital world and the face-to-face -face world. So this is our annual marquee event. And we design the content in kind of three phases. We have, a kind of like when you're in college, we have the 101 series, which is general session focused on our business folks, a lot of the high level, thought leadership messages. Then we have the 200 series, which is really focused on letting folks get more hands-on, round tables, discussions. Then we do the 300 series, which is really the deep dives, where they can dig in and, and really play with the content. And then we take the best of what we learn here and we take it on the road around the globe. Then we package it up digitally. So this is part of an ongoing effort by Informatica to start acculturating, teaching, having customers learn more about some of these transformations in the future. Absolutely, I mean, it's it's really learning 365 days a year. So where, is this re where are these resources going to be on your, are they going to be in your site, physical location? How, yeah, they'll how be, you? I mean, they're in the app right now for folks, they'll be on our website and then we'll package it up and send it out to folks. So as we think about how uh, this is going to play out over time, presumably also, I mean, you heard yesterday, I did attend the session yesterday, and there were a number of them that were outstanding. Uh, some really interesting things going on with, infra, with, uh, with the AWS. Mm -hmm. So how do you anticipate that this content's going to be combined with partner content to try to really energize the ecosystem to facilitate some of yeah, these Yeah, everything we do, we try to do with our partners and obviously the major cloud ecosystem, so Salesforce, AWS, um, 
they're, we're with them everywhere we go, so you'll see us speaking. A lot of thought leadership will be on the social realm. Well, Kim, I know you're really busy, but I want to get you a quick summary of the keynotes, your thoughts in reaction to the morning keynotes. Yeah. And what should we expect throughout the day and tomorrow? Yeah, so the keynotes were super excited. It started with Anil really setting the vision for the market, Informatica from data 1.0 all the way to 3.0 now, which is focused on digital transformation and disruption. Then Sally came out, and what's really special about this year is we debuted and unveiled our new brand. And I think it's, it's gorgeous, it's sleek, it's provocative, it's intelligent, and it's really focused on repositioning Informatica. I think our products have always been ahead of our brand, and now we've caught up. She also talked about the data lake that gives our customers end-to-end -end insight that they've never seen before. That's right? Sally Jenkins, the That's new CMO. Sally Jenkins, our new CMO. So it's no longer talking about, you know, from lead to revenue, but more interest. Because of the ability to aggregate the data, we can provide value they've never seen. And then Amit, of course, talking about the innovations that we have across our portfolio, and then debut in Claire, which is AI for data management. Tomorrow, Michael Lewis, um, really excited uh, to have him as a speaker, and then of course, Kara Swisher is our moderator this year. And, you know, co-founder of Recode, famous for interviewing Steve Jobs, and, and so she's a fantastic addition to the program. We should try to get Kara on theCUBE, Peter. It's a great conversation with her. Final question, what's the, what does the uh, brand stand for? The brand refresh, obviously, you know, we've been very complimentary in the product shop, certainly in interviewing all the, the execs. Very product focused. But now that the new brand's out there, what, what should folks look for when they see the brand? What does it stand for? It's really about empowerment, right? We, uh, Neil and Sally talked about it, you know, we are their champions of intelligent disruption and really empowering people to innovate like they have never have before and, and, and give us that modern edge and feel. So we're super excited about it. Kim Salem Jackson here inside theCUBE, kicking off day one of two days of live coverage with theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris. A lot of great action, wall to wall, going all the way all day, live in San Francisco until 5.30, 6 o'clock tonight. So stay with us, we'll be right back with more live coverage after this short break.